Hey, this is Jeff, and I'm going to introduce to you 10-minute tryouts, the interview version. I'm going to walk you through the interview and how to do the interview. There's two different options or two different apps that you can use for interviews that are located on the iPad. You can use voice recording, which is the easier of the two, but if you want more bells and whistles and more creativity, GarageBand is the way to go. So let's take a look. Look for this icon right there, that is voice memos. When you open up Voice Memos, it's a really simple app. All you need to do is go ahead and hit that record button and it will begin recording. So let's give that a shot. And we are recording live right now, four seconds of glory. So we've got our recording at this point and if we wanna play it back, all we need to do is hit the playback button. And we are recording live. Or if you'd like to edit it, the editing tools are up in the top right hand side. So if we click edit, you'll notice that there are some options that we have up here. So if we click the left side, you can do playback speed. You can also enhance your recording and uh, clean it up a little bit. Or if you'd like, you can trim your recording with this button right here. And so that will allow you to, in the bottom left hand side, Put your playhead wherever you want it, that's the blue line, and then you can trim it to that particular section. So now, instead of that whole thing, I've just got that section, and then I can go ahead and hit trim, and then all I've got left is that small section. Recording live right now. Then when you're done, go ahead and hit the save button, and you've got your project ready to go. At that point, if you click done, it will go and it will be lo located here on the left-hand side. Then if you'd like to share that interview out with anybody, there's your share row right there. If you click that share row, you'll notice that you can airdrop it so the students can airdrop it right to you. Or if you'd like, you can drop it right in Drive. Or a third option, if you click the three buttons, is to send it directly to Classroom. If you'd like to do your interview in GarageBand, because it has a few more bells and whistles than voice memos, you want to find this icon right here, the electric guitar. Click on the electric guitar and that'll open up GarageBand. Here's your default. All of your older projects will be located here, so if you don't, don't have any, that'll be blank. To start your interview, what you don't want to do, pro tip, is hit the plus. It seems like you should, but don't. The plus gets really complicated for interviews. For an interview, all you need to do is turn that microphone on, the microphone plus. So I'm going to hit this button, not this one. Not this one, this one. So we'll hit that microphone, and it automatically loads up into two different options. You might get the studio option, or you might get the fun option. Why wouldn't you choose fun? We'll go to fun and it'll give us all of these different choices. These are like filters, but for your sound. To start your recording, all you have to do is hit the red record button. It'll give you a four second countdown and it'll record. And we're currently doing a recording. And then when you're done, you just hit the stop and you'll notice that I've got my two second recording there. Here's my paper on my top left hand side. I'm going to go back out. And then you'll notice my new recording is right here. If at that point you'd like to share that recording with anybody, all you need to do is hold your finger on there, and then you'll get your sharing options just as before. Send it as a song. All the default is cool, so click share, and then you'll notice that you've got AirDrop, you'll notice that you've got Drive, and you'll notice that you've got Under More, you can send it out to your Drive or anything else that you'd like to do. I'm sitting here with Jason Kathman, the most important tech integration specialist in the Jamestown Public School District, one of two. And uh, we were gonna talk about 10 minute tryouts. So Jason, you've got this idea for 10 minute tryouts. What's the goal of your 10 minute tryouts? 10 minute tryouts are just quick ideas for people to try. Uh, a lot of times you and I here, we don't have time to do a full on tech integrated project. <clears throat> so these are quick ideas that people can do with 10 minutes of their class. But if we're only doing 10 minutes, how is it that kids are benefiting from something that really goes that fast? How, when the kids are creating, how do they benefit from that? Well, there's a couple things. One is the idea that with these 10 minute tryouts, kids are gaining skills that if you wanted to try a project later, they could definitely, you can, they'll have those skills inside the project. The second idea is when kids are creating or they have some freedom to be creative, 
put their personal spin on tasks that you give them, then they're more likely to be engaged in that, in that task and they're uh, more likely to retain what you want them to retain when they're creating and being creative. So when we were preparing for this interview, I jotted some questions up on the wall and then I hit play or record for voice memos. So this is really easy. But what if some of your other projects, the teachers really don't know how to do it? What if they're nervous because they aren't the experts? Aren't teachers really supposed to be the experts in the classroom? We can't be the experts on everything. We just can't. One thing I find, especially with tech and using tech in the classroom, is that kids are so willing to figure things out and so willing to uh, help the teacher or help other students try to figure those things out. They just, it's like born into, the, into them. They want to help, they want to figure it out. And so putting it in front of them, almost always the kids will, the kids will figure it out for themselves. So it becomes like a collaboration stage then. The kids are working together with the teachers as opposed to the teachers pushing them along. Yeah, and there's no way that we'll, uh, you or I or any teacher can know every function of every app that we have access to at JPS. We can't know all of those things uh, in addition to all the content that people have to know. Kids will figure it out and they'll help us figure it out. Yeah. By the time we figure it out, it's changed anyway. That's right. New it's time for something new. <laughs> That's right. So how do small tasks like 10 minute tryout ideas fit with the goal of personalized learning that you have? I think it's the uh, kind of what we were talking about before, that when we give kids control or agency um, of what they're doing for your tasks, then they naturally are more engaged in that task and they want to do better on that task because it has meaning to them. So when we're asking them to be creative, when we're giving them control over parts, whether it's the product they create, the process that they go through, the content that they're accessing, when they have control over those things, then they're more likely to be engaged and find that the task has more meaning to them. Uh, where can people find these new 10-minute tryout ideas, Jace? It's uh, up on our YouTube page. I think we'll send everybody out uh, the link, but we created a whole new account for 10-minute tryouts. And uh, every single every single video is just one of the ten minute trials that we've built. Very cool. Uh, anything to add that you wanted to uh, get across to the uh, teachers? Then just give it a try. That's why we call it the ten minute trial. It's only going to take ten minutes for your class. The videos are short. With every single video, you get a tutorial, you get uh, an idea, and then you get a, to look at a finished product with every single one of these ten minute trials. So it's just ten minutes of your day. Give it a try. Great, so here's an interview. We hit voice memo, record. Three minutes and 50 seconds later, we have a finished product. There's your 10 minute tryout. Thanks, Jace. Thanks.